No matter the level of strategic meetings and developmental initiative that the current leaders of the numerous African countries are proposing, without the following structural adjustments within the continent of Africa, I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news, such plans will fail. And that is why in today's video, we want to be looking at areas that the continent of Africa needs restructuring. One of such is restructuring our behavioral pattern of consumption into that of production of valuable goods and services. And the second aspect is building an integrated African market system in which there will be an easy flow of goods and services within the 54 member countries in the African continent. Three, restructuring our security formation into a unified African security system. And lastly, today we'll be talking about restructuring the communication patterns in Africa. That means having an African integrated language system where all Africans will have to learn maybe Swahili or Yoruba or the Zulu language so as to foster trade and commerce within the continent. Yes, and some hopes are rising in Africa as we see one of the African rulers or leaders uh, in the person of the president of Uganda, Museveni, coming forth to say, Africa, if you've got to prosper, your prosperity is not going to come from AIDS, but it's going to come from the following. Kindly watch the video. President Ndaishimye, our chairperson, Your Excellency President Sarvaki, the incoming chairperson, Her Excellency, Her Excellency Samia Suruhu, President of the Republic of uh, Native Republic of Tanzania, His Excellency William Ruto. President of Kenya, His Excellency President, uh, the President of Somalia, who is a, a guest here, the, the Right Honorable Prime Minister of Rwanda, uh, the, the Vice, Vice Prime Minister of Congo, and I don't think I have left anybody. S Secretary General, all the big people what what a mashuri tunasema mashuri ah now we are talking inside there and we are reminding ourselves about the need for integration why integration three reasons i normally watch the tvs they are talking about football european clubs i don't know what but those clubs will not put food on your table so i think it is, it is important for the east africans especially the young people to to know why do we talk of integration uh, three reasons Number one, do you want prosperity or not? If you say you don't want prosperity, then no problem. But if you say you want prosperity, the question is where will the prosperity come from? According to what we have seen, prosperity cannot come from aid from foreigners, cannot come from handouts from government, It comes from a family or a company or an individual producing a good or a service and selling it. You produce a good or a service and somebody buys it. If more people buy from you, then you, you become prosperous. Therefore, you cannot talk of prosperity in Africa without talking of market integration. If you want to experiment that, you go to Latin America. Latin America is richer than the United States 
in terms of natural resources. If you look at the, the rivers, the hugest, biggest river in the world, Amazon is in South America, the forests, agricultural land, minerals, they are all there in South America. But you see the misery there in South America. So what is the problem? Part of the problem is organization. In the US, if you, you are in New York, you produce a product, it can sell all the way to California. You have got a market of 300 million people, more, more than that. So therefore, the market becomes a, a stimulus for wealth creation and for prosperity. That's why, therefore, we say, please, if you want, you want to be prosperous, you better understand and fight for the integration of the African market. A country like Uganda wasted a lot of time fighting and so on. But when we settled down, we started producing. And very soon we realized that the internal market was not enough for milk, for, for maize, for sugar, for what? So that is the first reason, prosperity. Second reason is strategic security. How can you be secure in the world? I don't have time to go into that, but that is the second reason. The third reason is Undugu. By the way, these people you are talking about, the ones we are saying you, you unite for the sake of their prosperity, and for the sake of strategic security. Are they similar or linked? If you study carefully, you will see that all these people are linked, the Bantus, the Nilotics. Then we here in East Africa, we, we are lucky we, we have the uh, Swahili language. In the European Union, they have a problem. What language do they speak? Do they speak Francais, they speak German, they speak uh, uh, Spaniola, what, what language do they speak? Italiano. But here we have no problem. We, we can all speak Swahili and there will be no controversy. So therefore, it is easy for us to, to unite. This is the reason why some of us, under, under the leadership of Marimu, for the last more than 60 years, have been struggling for the East African integration. Yeah, good day everyone. You are most welcome to the Satros family today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm named Joker Tolu and Central, and I'll always have with me my Friday husband. This is that season, the most handsome, capable African just utterly pumping a busy found husband. And as usually usual, I will always have my pepperoni sugar delicious aunt baby girl. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's happening once again in Africa, uh, whereby we now have our leaders or rulers waking up to the fact that for us to prosper, we cannot really prosper depending on foreign aid, people outside our continent to make us prosper. And such is uh, the president of Uganda, Mr. Beni, saying, mm, do you want to prosper? Then learn how to produce valuable things, valuable goods and services that will replace your consumption ability. And so that it is when you are able to produce, you, you, you have an integrated market system in, in Africa whereby the goods can flow within your numerous countries, you sell well, that is when you'll be able to prosper. So get, get, ah, is it not happening? You know, like today, I just decided that I'm not going to shout too much because who is the person even talking? That's why myself and, you know, my clientele, we were just laughing when we saw the video you people just went through. Who's the guy talking there? Museveni. Museveni does not have any right justice to, you know, he doesn't have any right of justice, you know, justification to be blowing on this ground. These are small, small things that we just allow you to learn from the four walls of the university that you are trying to come and bamboozle us with. Let me tell you, after all much talk and less action, <laughs> my clientele are still in charge of Africa. So, from that video, what are the things that Museveni was talking about, you know, that is really outstanding that you think is going to take Africa to Eldorado? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You might have a point that you are, uh, you know, who gave you the mouth? I don't even know how to say it. 
It's your clientele that have most of these puppets ruling us. That's why most times we don't say we have leaders in Africa, except for some outstanding leaders that have proven their worth over the years. But most of these persons are real puppets in these hands of the external forces that are bedeviling the African Don't let us talk about puppet, puppet, puppet. Let us address the matter. <laughs> Museveni is the one that is lecturing you guys now. Museveni that, you know, uh, presidency of uh, Uganda is his father's inheritance. For how long has he been ruling that country? And you guys are still, you know, you are under our control. We are just playing you guys. <laughs> yes, yes. My, my clientele is just laughing at you. Know, you guys are still under our control. Uh, but you know something? I, I'm not even so keen about who said it. But the thing is, you know, if we are beginning to know that African problems will be solved by Africans, needs African mission solutions, if, I, if there's any English like that, that is not in the dictionary. So, if we are now looking within that, how can we foster trade within the 54 member countries in the African continent? Some of these rulers might be saying it, but I want to believe there are the Sorosuke generation in Africa, and I'm like, young stars. Let us address the matter. You said something about what? Foster trade. What do you guys want to trade on? No, no, no. What have you produced that is worthy of, you know, being traded? I miss yourself. You know, my clientele, they've done a very good job. They've made sure that there is large level of dichotomy between the 54 member states. You know, we cut, you know, my clientele, they cut majority of the countries, you know, is it country streets, hubs in Africa, because Africa is supposed to be a single country nation. But you know, we helped to divide it like cake and we gave it several names. So, you guys are coming here, you want to foster what? You want to foster trade? What are you producing? And that's it. We, we are changing our behavioral pattern of consumption now into the production of valuable goods and services. And we don't have to come in front of your clientele to tell them what we are doing. Like, I, for instance, am in an industry. Musabin is already telling us. He's telling them, want, but do you, you know the product? Do you know the particular sector? Do you know the particular products they will be producing? Mus yes. Musabini has been ruling for how many years? Is it now that it's about living? We're not talking. <laughs> is it now that it's about Kapatuni? <laughs> <laughs> that is going to start producing? I um, beg, like, when he's not even willing to allow Bobby Wine or any young brain to come in and transform the country or anything, that's to show you how, how strong, uh, you know, my clientele are holding you guys in Africa very strong. Pardon me that I'm speaking this way, you know, uh -huh. I've been lightly paid. I've uh -huh. been paid the way that you have never been paid uh -huh. oh, to so support my clientele. Uh, you support them, but I, I want to believe we uh, on this uh, channel, mm. we're always out here to, to say what is real, mm. like we're joking with it, but the thing is, there's still a sense in it. There are captains of industries that might be watching this, mm. and they, they would decide that, yes, I'm going to invent this now. Just like young, most of our young stars from school, they can go in, they might have this initiative and they might develop this and they might uh, come up with various new productions and innovations that will change Africa. Yes, and that's why we're saying this. And that is what we need. And these brains will not hold be drained on, hold out. On, hold on. Mm -hmm. Who are your captains of industry? Those Africans, be true to yourself. Who are your captains of industry? Your captains of industries are those that are running your banks, you know. Majority of what you are, are doing here in Africa is just business, uh, you know, services. You are just a bunch of uh, service collectors. Majority of the money that you even get from the services, your, your so-called captains, did you call them captains of industry? They are captains of financial transfer. <laughs> transfer. They transfer the money down there to my to my clientele's economy to build our chocolate uh, companies and the like. You know, they, they, they even buy houses and the likes over there Wait. that they are not staying in and it's good for our own economy. Ghana has already told them that for you, you can't be taking our, our cocoa away. For you to have our cocoa, come and tie to your industries here. And such is Kenyan president in our previous video, except for both sites. There will be mining bus sites here into aluminium. Let me so come things you can't Please, let, me, let me warn you. Anytime I'm on this show, stop mentioning Ghana. Because my clientele, they are so angry with Ghanaian president. Because he seems to be the one that is doing so many things that is 
opting the business of my clientele. You know, cho chocolate that should have been produced, you know, we are supposed to be coming to Africa to get the cheap raw materials and produce it over there and sell it in an expensive uh, manner to you guys. But now, Ghana wants to be our competitor. When I meet our competitor, my, my clientele's competitor, because I'm representing my clientele on this platform. Mm -hmm. and, and see, what we are planning for, anyway, we, we are no. not going to take it lightly. With, uh, what what can you do? Uh, please, please, please don't, 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 don't be mentioning the name of uh, Ghanaian president. It seems to be disrupting our plans. Uh, yeah, but when we hear somebody like Mr. Venny just saying it's just like a ringtone. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I want to believe we are going to have real strategic plans that will remove the borders and there's going to be free flow within uh, of our goods and services within ourselves in Africa and that will really lead to our prosperity. Whatever you want to say, I care less. You are your clientele. Continue. And the next thing Hold is... Hold on. Which border are you guys removing? See, what, what border... It has been Wait, wait. We don't, want, don't, don't, don't allow them cajole you. What borders are you removing? If you, if you mistakenly... If you mistakenly, whether you are drunk or by mistake, you mistakenly leave one African country to the other. You guys will still maltreat each other. We've been seeing how our plans, the plan of my clientele has been working on you guys. They made sure that uh, the border is really, it's not the physical border we're working off. We have helped to build a system that has transformed your brain, that you begin to see each other with that border mindset. And forget about it. The physical border is just one of those things. The real programming that my clientele have done is in your brain. So you, by the time a Ghanaian is seeing a Nigerian as a threat, and a Nigerian is seeing a Ghanaian as a threat, our border still remains. So if you like, go and be removing this side. This thing. What you have just done is what? You have just removed the price of transportation. But the real <laughs> thing, we have built it over the years. We've used the numerous systems to build it in the minds of you guys. A Kenyan we see a Nigerian as a threat. Uh, Ghanaian we see uh, a Cameroonian as a threat. And you, even that one to even make it more complex. Is it the one that uh, you guys, you guys are, you, you guys are, you guys are even taking yourself as slaves? We see what has been going on in uh, Libya, and we are just laughing. Some of you from the same African country, you go to just ordinary Libya there, and the next thing they begin to sell you guys as slaves. So you people, mm, your development, I don't think we are ready to allow you to develop now. Who are you to say that? My clientele. Who are your clientele to say that? Uh, because they've seen that you guys are not serious. You are just full of you. talk, 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 and let's do. Let Let me tell you, it doesn't take anything to change the world. What it takes to change the world, it's all about one change mindset. So if I want to change the world and I've not been able, maybe let me start by changing my own mindset. And I was somewhere yesterday and I was telling them that Nigeria is going to be good, that all those that are jackpot, they will jackpot. Yes, my own mindset is going to be good. Very great. Yes, we know, we know. Mm -hmm. like, 1,000 years to come. Never. Because in our program, we have programmed Nigeria in such a way that, you know, we, 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 we have programmed you guys in such a way that even when you want to develop, there are so many bottlenecks that will make you to remain underneath our control. And God is greater than your bottlenecks. Yeah. Why are you bringing God in? Yeah, the because God is the creator of the universe. Because God will not come to the head to come and do this thing. It's <laughs> people like you. You yes. know, my clientele will still carry some of you and give you some small change to go and cause problems in some places. But there will be and some persons of what and integrity. Who are those some persons? Yes. Those some persons are already traveling over to our side. And they are going to jack they are, they are doing what we call the jackpot. Jack or syndrome, and they come <laughs> over there with their living certificate, and we are making them to wash toilets. <laughs> they are going to jack mother. They are going to jack mother. And you see, if I now, I've already said before on this planet, somebody said I want to change the world. I couldn't change the world. I want to change the continent. I couldn't. I want to change uh, my state. I couldn't. I want to change my. But I came down to changing myself. You change yourself. Want, and yes, just I, you out of mm, two hundred and fifty, two hundred and. 30 or 250 million Nigerians. And you can't talk, maybe, we can, and you can't say maybe I will be the next economic advisor to the greatest. <laughs> Look at you, in which country? Is it this country that uh, you must be an idiot for you to vote? <laughs> in the so, not, 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 not in Nigeria, even to the United Nations. United Nations. Yes. <laughs> that even makes it interesting. <laughs> they are working for us. 
because I, that, that means no, we, are, we are welcoming you to our No, because um, it transformed to mind. Mm. Yes. But we have a system that is able to manage your transformation. So if the system, mm -hmm. let me let me tell you how it's going to work. Mm -hmm. You think you place barriers in our minds. We are not placing barriers in so our you mind. Built we, are only, it. we have only helped you to create a mind. Of, controlling system. Not a controlling a mind system. Controlling a system. mind of freedom under our... <laughs> I, I, I'm so sure you might not know. Just like, permit me to use this uh, biblical uh, scenario where Prophet Elijah said, "I'm the only one left that is not worshiping Baal." What? Uh, that is what. Wait. That is what my clientele loves about you guys. You know, we 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 still make sure that you people, whenever you want to look for consolation, you still go back to the the religion we introduced to you, and you so much. Taking that religion without doing the property that we were doing. We walk. For you people, you have faith. Continue to have faith. Don't walk. And we will continue. I don't know why you're laughing. We will continue to be the one in charge of the world. So maybe when the heaven we told you about, when that period comes, you can go over there and take over Who are you? the economic financing of heaven. But for this end, <laughs> My clients are in charge. Uh, let me tell you, uh, we don't even have to. The other video we did, we don't have to come to your forefront and be telling you what we're going to do. So, but the mind control system, I want to tell you, if I am if free, you do not tell wait, us, please. People like Mr. Benny will tell us. <laughs> <laughs> See, if I'm free, it's all, all it takes is for me to build a good tribe around me, mm. and when we start, we're going to. Take over. We are going to pursue, take over, and recover all. Is it with this year, youth, youth, this youth that are uh, on TikTok shaking their bum? <laughs> like, do they to don't want to produce. So, yes. See, you, I want to say kudos mm -hmm. to you. You've given me something today. Say, mm -hmm. so it's not just for us to remove the borders. We have to remove the borders from our minds. We have to see ourselves as one. Yes, I'm talking to the real Africans, not Mr. Cetra's clientele. We have to see ourselves as one. So. Uh, right out, right there, outside the African continent, they don't see you as a Nigerian, a Ghanaian, a Rwandese. They don't know you. They just say this is an African, and that is who we are. So look at the United States. Why are they United States? Yes. So sorry, I have to interrupt this. Your watch on this video to tell you to please subscribe to our channel, like and share our videos as well as press the notification bell so that you notify of our latest videos. Thank you very much. If you produce anything in New York, it can easily move to California, it can easily move to Texas, it can easily move to any part of the US. But right here in Africa, what your clients have done is that they've created those restrictions that our trade and commerce here move easily. But right now it's removing. The ones you created in our minds, we're removing it. We're talking, we're chatting. Yes, we're seeing ourselves as one. It's all about love. We are, we are creating that our trust and love for each other. And by the time we're able to do this, you're going to see, are we not the ones making you people great? We are the ones. Well, if you see well, all, well, only well, the well, population well, in well, Africa, ordinary, in Nigeria, oh God. Ordinary jollof rice. Is causing fight between Ghana and Nigeria. <laughs> that to show how myopic you guys are. And you know, you who is saying that? Do you know the reason why my clientele look at all of the Africans are same? Hmm? Do you want to know the reason why? Because we already know that all of you behave the same way. You 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 are a backstabber to each other. In short, whenever we see you guys, we can use A against B and just be laughing because we are playing you like a card, you know, like a game of chess against each other. So you guys worship us. In short, we are, we are your savior. We are your savior. You, you guys need to look up to us for everything. No, no, even your democracy, before you even elect, you have to send those that are vying for post to come over and do the presentation of whatever developmental talk talk they want to do. And when they present it to us, when we see that, ah, this one is becoming too serious about what he wants to do. We make sure that you don't get into that seat. So, because we always try to have a more idiot in place. The time has come that you people have lost it. What did I say? We have not lost anything. You have lost it. We have never lost any investment. <laughs>
our investment is in Africa. Uh, the days, Africa is the our coming days will prove We have wrong. helped you guys this way in what we call blockers. <laughs> Yes, I tell you that the coming days will prove you wrong. Mm -hmm. uh, you see, right now we are building a formidable security force in Africa. <laughs> Don't worry, you are going to see a next video that will be uploading. It's going to tell you something to that effect. You know, I'm, you know what I'm laughing. What, wait, this one is not wait, talk. You know what I'm laughing. You have built a formidable security store. Who is in charge of your security? We have our bases, you know, our military bases, our naval bases, all our Cross all around you. It doesn't take us five minutes to respond to any nonsense that any of you want to prove. And let me tell you, if if you Africans mess up too much, we know what the, the right persons to call. We just call some group of bandits and arm them, and they become terror. You know, they become a terror group that is uh, making sure that you people remain small. So, what are you talking about? Wherever there is a challenge, you guys run to us. Oh, you need ammunition. Is it your shaka blood that you want to use? <laughs> All those your. Bakum, bakum. Why you hear kaka kaka? Your brain will be set. That's when you know that we are really the boss. Mr. Setra. I thank God is also. Oh, <laughs> you run la. Oh. Let me tell you something. Mm. Uh, the coming days will prove you wrong because in our next video, mm. I'm going to be showing you what is already happening or is about taking off yes let me say it that way what is about taking off in africa a development that is wow wow really in my mind if there's any english like a you development that is mm. 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 Okay. a development that is making me so happy when i read about it mm. and i'm going to be doing it in our next video so please watch out for that video concerning security in africa get get to know it get to hear about it but there is nothing you can do about it. You know the funny stuff about your security details is that as you are planning it, before you finish from your meeting, somebody has sent us text on, oh, this is our next plan. Or somebody very, very with a loquacious mouth, mouth holder is <laughs> already coming out to tell us, we are doing X, Y, and Z, and this. So we know where you are going to in the next 50 years. So it's not hidden from us. <laughs> See, all this Bila Balu that you, are, you guys are saying, don't worry, we are waiting for you. Ordinary to transfer money to us to buy our ammunition, we will even seize the money. We will seize the money don't and make worry. them go through protocols, you know. Don't because worry. you guys, nothing. You cannot produce anything. The only thing that you produce the, the last time was Obinigwe. <laughs> Ikuchum. Ikuchum. Well, now, go, go and learn from. See, Africans should stop talking. Just go and learn from uh, what's it called from Israel and mass war. You can see the kind of gun they are carrying. When you see the gun, you you'll be wondering, is this is this real gun? They are so looking lovable, which is in contrast to the level of damage they can do. When you hear a gun that will be like and it's just been like that, as if it's laughing for a very long time. Whereas the one is <laughs> See, is that what you want to secure the life of how many millions that are in this continent of Africa with? Hmm. And before we say anything, you people will start shouting, hey, we are the largest number of youths. Your youth, no matter the level of the number of your youth, huh? <laughs> with them gone, facing our own youth with some sophisticated ballistic missiles, all you just say is, it is finished. And you will be like, kaka, kuku, kaka. <laughs> so I want to believe that Africa will going to be doing great because very soon we're going to be having a unified African language. Maybe Swahili we're going to be speaking. And we're saying, right, right, right. as in, and this will foster our trade and commerce as well. What do you think? Can you stop that one? I'm not even thinking of anything because <laughs> all these ones are just. You know, it's like a, a super story <laughs> living on the shores of Africa. You know, you guys, you cannot, the, the easiest thing of life, you have not even agreed on it. Ordinary currency unification, you guys cannot do it. Talkless of language, and you know, you guys, your numerous cultures, chum chum chum, different, different kind of cultures, and which has impacted on the way you and manner in which you speak you guys are not coherent there is no way you guys can have a unified world okay tell me which which country we we want to drop his official 
language for whom? Which other person's country's language? Is it Nigeria that has over 500 ethnic groups with different languages that uh, even in Yoruba, when they say Shogo, you hear another one that will say Otam. <laughs> and Ot Otam in another person's language is my enemy. Whereas Otam in the other person's language is my friend. So you guys are so languidly confused that the possibility of agreeing to one language is not there because you guys are, you don't have that uh, open mindset and you know, it's to our advantage. The advantage of my clientele is being manifested in that. For example, is it, is it Nigeria that is assumed to be the giant of Africa that will now want to drop his own language to go and pick Swahili or Kishwahili, whatever you call it? Uh, is it uh, Ghana that is always fighting with Nigeria that will now drop their own and say, oh, is Yoruba they want to adopt? Or is it Igbo? Igbo that, uh, when you say, in a susuwawa, <laughs> some other person will say, Eshiga Doma. So, you guys, you have, you are, you are completely, you have been created as the food, bas food basket of the Western world. And that is where my, my clientele are so happy to, you know, take all the resources here and benefit themselves. Especially one of my, huge fan of Africa and one of my clientele that is a very huge fan of Africa is France. Those ones is just it's been paining them seriously that they've not really grabbed hold of of Nigeria. And that's why like Ajano Jeremy of the old world, the ones they grabbed in Africa they were sucking them dry. Not until that stupid boy pursued them out of Niger. And it's, it's been painful to them, you know, because they were in Niger, they were packing and packing and packing, and only for you guys to take over, you know, Niger. France is watching you guys. <laughs> uh, you know what? As concerning the language barrier, mm. uh, we're going to start somehow, and we're going to make it just like we have uh, francophone countries that uh, they speak uh, French, those that France colonized, and we have those that were colonized by Britain. They have their lingua franca, so that's what they use. So I want to believe no matter how diverse we are in language, oh, it's all about unifying hearts. If our hearts are unified, and we're going to say, okay, we want to adopt this, we're still going to keep our individual languages, our culture, our diversity. It's that's too, our joy. It's too late. Then we're going to. It's not it's too late. You, you know why it's too late? Because that's your heart. Gone, gone. That's your heart. Gone, gone. We have worked over your heart. And we still continue to work on your heart. We are working on your heart. It's not that even people want to start working on your heart. The heart that we have been working on since how many? 50, 100 years ago. We've been working on that heart. We even make sure that even the television industry is still continuing to work on that heart. To the extent that now we want to confuse you people, we want to introduce Shein. Movie industry. We want to confuse you people now, we want to introduce Shein. That you people will not know whether to call somebody a E or a, or a she. So, is that is Shein or is Shein? No. So, you guys, and we have made, you know, we have made it there that if you do not agree to this thing that we need you to sign, that we will not give you grants. We will not give you material. <laughs> <Your mate. laughs> so you guys have been working on your heart. And the funny thing is that your heart is just appearing to be like mama. Your heart is very soft. Once we tweak your heart, like you tweak your heart, and we dangle alone. Like we know that even you love love so much. You love assistance. You love numerous, numerous assistance. You, you, you are like Judas Beggar, always begging. So when we tell you that you need to sign this, this, come on, come on, come on, come on, you know the meaning of that? It's, 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 it's not a boy, it's not a girl. It's in between. It's called the Mbaba. <laughs> and you must, you must sign it. Before you do, you will sign. Uh, go and ask them in different countries in Africa. I've been penetrating them now. Now they are all confused. So your heart is in our hand. You better allow us to help you reframe that your heart so that from childhood we start confusing them so that by the time they are mature, they're already following us. That's why we can't uh, 
trade our culture and our language for anything. I don't have the I don't have the strength to continue arguing with you again. Uh, as in it's a, it's not please I want you to see, air your view this in the is the best person you can be. She's <laughs> even tired. And you want freedom. <laughs> My, my yeah, clientele, say, they just, spent several years fighting, fighting for their right till they achieve it. Now she's like, this is the best person to <laughs> I need a better, I'm putting it a, a challenge to you guys now. I need a better advocate to represent you guys, you African people. Because majority of the advocates that you have, they are just, they are not interesting to me. You see, you see Musa that has inherited a cool country. He has inherited that this is his father's property. He's, he must die on that that's, that's, what, that's what he said. He's not going to relinquish the power. If any Bobby Brown or Bobby, Bobby Mama, they do, you know. Uh, let me tell you. Serious, yes. You you said it. You said it's not just talking. It's not talking, talking, talking. So that's why I'm not going to, I'm not just going to be here arguing with you all the day long. So people will be commenting in the comment section. Uh, if you believe Man, Africa, if you comment anyhow, I will come and <laughs> I will come and readdress your issues <laughs> with my clientele. We should. Don't don't tempt us. We can even bring the slavery back. Okay, we already have the slavery already. Uh -huh. This time around, these you people that will even pay for the tea fair to come and be a slave <laughs> over there. You will wash nakme, nakme and pampas. Yeah, no, serious. Uh, the fact is, it's not just to keep talking all day long. Mm. Please, I want to hear you in the comment section. If you believe that Africa, uh, if you can just adopt this following. Structural adjustment. Your weight is too much on me. That's how Africans do. They rely too much on me. The Western world. They are here to make sure that you people, you suffocate. <laughs> you don't know anything. So that when you suffocate, you now bring one small fan. Not big one, small fan to blow you. Then you pay us more than you are supposed to. That is the beauty of life. So, so that when you don't have sense, we will be borrowing you small, small sense. Hello, magic. Yeah. Don't wait for me. Yes. Okay. Please, I want to hear you in the comment section. Uh, if you believe that adopting this structural adjustment will help us in Africa, it's they are not just something new we've been hearing about. We can start from where we are. I can start from my own self. What do I produce? What do you produce? What services do you render? What can you do better than the other person to you? Are you synergizing efforts? Then are you are you thinking of not just your local markets? Are you thinking of expanding beyond your borders? And again, the next thing is what are we doing in terms of our security and our language barriers? And I want to believe if we can just try uh, restructuring all this, Africa will be a better place. We will move forward, and all this Mr. Cetra's clientele, they will not just have all this mad. We say, try, 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 try against us. So I don't have their time. Your security um, is now. As, as far as security, please oh. watch out for the next video. Oh. So, yes. So uh, I want to hear you in the comment section below. Yes, this is really Cetra's. Just keeping it this way of bringing smiles to you from Africa. Like and share this video. If you're not yet subscribed to our channel, Please, what are you doing? Stop shaving. Subscribe. Please subscribe. Like and share our videos. I want to say thank you to everyone that have been doing this. Thank you to all that have been helping us in our foundation. We've been giving our joints. And this time around, I want to take this joy. Remember that your joy is your strength. And whatever you do in life, don't lose your strength because your strength is actually your life. So we're going to be taking this joy to the streets of Africa this December, 9th of December. We've been announcing it. We just have some days to go, yeah. On 9th of December, because of what is presently happening in Nigeria, inflation rate is going high, and as such, so many people are having a challenge of feeding themselves in a day. Some are even doing in a zero, day zero, one, 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 zero, zero, one. Some are not even seen at all. So we intend as a foundation to provide cooked food for everyone that we can be able to provide for on that day. On the 9th of uh, December, Saturday, we are going to be at a place called Lagos. We are going to be in a place called Lagos <laughs> to help feed as many as we could gather 
to feed. So please, if you are based in Lagos, please reach out to us with the number showing below so that you can assist us in the food distribution. And for those that can support us with a dollar or two or five dollar, hundred dollar, one thousand dollars, please, uh, you can do so by our GoFundMe account or through our foundation's uh, domiciliary and Naira account. We really appreciate it. So thank you so very much. Remember, your joy is your strength. That strength comes from the Holy Spirit, from within. Don't mind all that Mr. Cetris guy there. They are doing. We are going. We are overcomers. Yes. At Iborimi. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Till we come away next time, we remain the Cetris. Catch you. Love you. Remember our joy therapy. If you have your spouse beside you, grab her so very much. Let there be all oh, call. Leave me. Every day I'm going to wait on see me. <laughs> if you do too much now, I will sell you to my, <laughs> my clientele. They will just carry you. <laughs> you will be the one to end up in a grab your spouse very well. And for those of you that are not married, look for the next transformer to hug. I tell you, you come and tell us the experience. <laughs> so, from all of us, what to say? Thank you. Thank bye bye. bye, -bye. <laughs>